1450 to cover. Gates crash back and they racing. And they got away to a perfect start. Let's see how they play this. Miss Daisy broke out sharply. William Robertson right in there in the early stages. Then comes main defender. Unzen forever mine commits from a deep draw but is having to work hard. Unzen not too far away. Thunder to strike was next. Then comes Quantum Theory against the rail. Cabinet shuffle. Dave the King three deep the outside. Racing about six lengths off the leader. Then comes MK's Pride was ready to charge. Solar Power was further back. Two lengths away to Bingwa and Anfield's Rocket is the trailer. There's 10 lengths in it at the 800 metres mark in the Betway Joburg Spring Challenge. Miss Daisy by one length. Unzen second. Main defender well placed at the rail in third. Then comes Forever Mine. Had designs on a positive position. Races in fourth. Then comes Thunderstruck. The Black Jacket and Scarlet Cap with William Robertson up the inside. Dave the King works into the open. Then comes Ready to Charge. Cabinet Shuffle. Quantum Theory far side. Six lengths to make up. MK's Pride. Then comes Solar Power. Bingwen and Fields Rocket. Four meters left to run. Miss Daisy the leader. Main defender. Then comes Unzen. Thunderstruck. Dave the King. Then comes Ready to Charge. Main defender the leader. Miss Daisy lugged towards the extreme outside. Then comes Thunderstruck and William Robertson. But main defender. Look at this. Main defender in isolation. It's domination. It's main defender on his own. Second went to Thunderstruck. Third Ready to Charge. Then came William Robertson. But look at main defender. Yes, he was given every chance. He sat on the leader's back, but he could have sat anywhere today. He could have come from anywhere, main defender. Look what he's gone and done to them. He's chewed them up in the Betway Joburg Spring Challenge. He's won that by many lengths. And like I said, there's grade one, grade two, grade three winners all in behind. And they did not get close to main defender. Yes, he carried the lightweight, but what a platform he's got for the rest of the season. Oh, well, I don't know what, what are the words that you use in a race like this? What do you, what do you say, yeah, Kabila? Well, to be honest, I'm speechless. And, um, you know, after winning on this horse, I can't even take full credit on this. It was more horse than me. Um, he's an absolute champion and he's a very nice horse. He's very decent and I like his temperament. He's got the best temperament in the race. Bounced him out the gate, placed him nice. He switched off. When I asked him to quicken, he gave me every, everything in the finish. And I mean, he was still looking around, waiting for company. That wasn't even his top. And when you say looking for company, these are no slouches that you beat today. Yes, they're no slouches. I mean, considering that they were giving me, some of the horses were giving me seven and a half kilos. You know, I've pushed myself today to the limit to try and make the weight. And um, I, I, that's one thing I'll take credit for today, that I've got myself down to 15 and a half to ride the horse, and it was definitely worth it. And to the whole connection here, it's nice to have a team like this, people rooting for you home. You know, even before the race, you're confident before you even win the race. It's like you actually won the race before you even jump on the horse, and it, it means a lot in racing. And um, well done to them. They've got themselves um, a very nice horse here, and I mean, too many more winners for them. Keep swinging, that's all I can say, because you were swinging at the 400, keep it together. Thank you very much, and once again to Mr. Peter, to Tony, big thanks to them. They've been supporters of mine for a very long time even when I was an apprentice. And um, I must mention also again to my sponsors, Winning Form, big thanks to them. Thank you, sir. Well done. Congratulations. I'd like to call in Tony, the winning trainer. Tony, I mean, this is just unbelievable what we saw today. Yeah. Turn this way. God's been really, really good to me. Uh, he just gives me the strength to keep on and to carry on and to, to guide me to do the right things. And I'm just really grateful and appreciative for this opportunity. Big well done to Cabello. He followed instructions down to the T. Um, he, he, it wasn't easy for him to make weight, and I respect that he that he dedicated himself to making the weight. Big thanks to Uncle Frank. He he gave me the idea of putting Cabello on him. Monty Cabello's agent. Big thank you to him. The owners. Um, I don't know if you get any more dedicated uh, um, owners and passionate owners. Um, uh, um, Uncle John, he's he's um, brought this horse to us. He's put he's trusted him with us, um, and uh, Jerome, Kevin, and Mark Nassif, Big thank you to them, and uh, Uncle Frank. Uh, he's he's behind us all the way, and then Jagessa Stud for breeding. Uh, well done to them, and then uh, Hopes and Dreams Stud, my sponsors. Um, 
Betway that sponsored the race. They they put an unbelievable show on today, and it's just uh, it's so good to have this atmosphere back at Serpentine Racecourse. Uh, it's really it's really uh, a real boost to us. And then uh, just um, I'd like to dedicate this win to Uncle Barsi. He's a big mentor of mine. He's always there to lend a helping hand and always boosting me with confidence. So just a big thanks and well done to him. Tony, whatever you do, don't change. Well done. Keep it together. Jonathan's here from Betway. Jonathan Bloomberg to give you the trophy, the, one of the trophies as well from Bet. Congratulations. And uh, we wish you everything of the best to winning trainer Tony Peter. Congratulations. <laughs> there we go. Right, we'll just put that back down for a moment. Thanks, John. I want to just bring John Habib, the owner, in just for a moment. As I come to you, John, you want to join us here? With Frankie's here with him as well. Congratulations. Okay, well done, John. Thank you. That's thank you, Clive. Thank you very much. Eh? I want to thank everybody that's behind the scenes here. Tony, the jockey, Camilla. What a ride. Good ride. And uh, to the horse. Never lets us down. Unbelievable the way he just drew away from the field like that. Eh? Unbelievable. It's a rocket. This is a rocket. And you've always said so, haven't you, Frank? From day one, Clyde. Yes, and it's, from and day it's, one. And it's great to see Mark and Jerome here as well in the winner's enclosure with us. Well done, chaps. And I'd like just to say thank you to Betway for the sponsorship in it. Thank you so much, Jonathan. So a big thank you to Kevin, my partner, down in Durban. Well done, Kev. <laughs> Go, your baby. Keep the main defender there, boy. John Habib, well done, Mark. Go, Mark Congratulations to you and to Jerome. Come in, Jerome, for a moment. Well done to you all. I know you got into this not long ago, but you must be delighted now that you guys are all part. Aesthetic, uh, Clyde. It was a, such a good win. You know, I just want to say one or two things. I must say well done to Tony and the Peter family. Tony gave them the utmost confidence in the ring and perfect instructions. I've never heard more concise instructions in my life. And Cabela executed them to perfection. And then just well done to Kevin in Durban. He didn't come down for the race, but I'm sure he's as happy as all, all of us are. And to Bronson in Mauritius, shot my boy. Well done. Congrats, John. Thanks, thanks, Clyde. Thank you. It's, uh, this horse, I think, is a bit of a freak. You know, it's the best the uh, path folks had, I think. And thank God it's all going well for us. Well, take the trophy from our sponsor, yeah, Jonathan Bloomberg. Congratulations to our winning owners. Frank is in there as well. What a lovely horse this is, as he absolutely annihilated the field today. There's the photo of the winning owners. OK, and now, of course, to our... Where is our groom? Congratulations to the groom, our winning groom, Tony. Is the groom here? Come in, come and join us. Just to hand you over the uh, the cheque as well. That's a lovely one. Well done. To you. Uh, uh, Congratulations. I well done. Uh, thanks for Tony Peter and Yogi and Ona. Uh, well done, team. Uh, thanks. Thank you so much. There's the cheque that you can just hand over as well. We're going to ask Jonathan Bloomberg just to say a few words as well, just for a moment, to conclude this interview of what was a great race. There's the winning trophy to hand over to the winning groom. There we go. We'll get the photos concluded. And what an outstanding victory it turned out to be. Thank you very much, guys. I want to call Jonathan in just for a moment, just to have a quick chat to our sponsor. Nice to see you here at Turfentine again. You must be delighted with this outcome. I mean, to get the winners enclosure, so, you know, uh, the, 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 what we saw just a few moments ago. I mean, that's what racing's about. Yeah, 100%. Lovely for us to be involved. And uh, I think what we set out to do is playing out. And... Um, Hopefully there's more to come. Um, great bunch of guys, racing people. Um, yeah, lovely to see so many people leading a horse. I think that's what uh, makes racing that exciting. And that's what the game likes to see. As Betway, obviously you want to see champions and build on champions. And who knows what this horse is going to turn out to be? Yeah, 100%. Look, looks like uh, a freak, I would say. Uh, yes, weight was in his favour, but it absolutely annihilated the field. Um, it's a punter's result. Um, yeah, it's just a great day. I think it builds into the Summer Cup nicely. Thank you for everything you do. We really do appreciate it. Well done. Thanks, Clark. Thank, Thank you. you so much. OK, and Gabriel Soma, Head of Racing, and Gareth Flask are going to join us. We'll chat to Gareth first. Gareth, welcome. Nice to see you again. And uh, what a lovely day. You must be very happy. Yeah, very happy. I mean, I say there's a great vibe on course. Uh, really 
this is the, the spring season and we're leading up to Summer Cup. Great to see some of the horses are going to be part of that day. They're really making a, a, a great stake of things. And I, I must say, um, the sponsors really make this all worthwhile. It's great to see your lead-ins like we just saw now. Uh, you know, the owners, the trainers, we, I think, just so much invested in it. What a great community and, and so very happy to be part of this again. And I can't wait to see what the rest of the spring season delivers as well as summer. Excellent, Gareth. I mean, the racing passion at the end of the day, I suppose, is what drives everything, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you, you walk on, on, on course here and you just see how uh, people are so happy just to, number one, be uh, experienced with it. But I, I must say, just when they're putting their bets down and they're cheering their horses home, that's really what makes it all worthwhile. Um, walked into some of the boxes as well. And, you know, just, I think, if anything, you know, Joburg Racing is alive and well. Um, you know, we're there, we're, we're absolutely trying to just make things a little bit better, a little bit more interesting. We can't wait to see what happens on the 25th of November as well because that's Betway uh, Summer Cup. Um, and there's a couple of surprises in stake as well. I think a couple of people on TV might see, you know, that, uh, you know, Parade Ring's going to be in the front again. I think that is going to be something special and we're going to make the best of that. It's great to have you part of the team. Well done and congratulations. Huh? Thank you very much. Thank Clyde. you, Gareth Flusk. And uh, Gabriel Soma, just to quickly join in and have a quick chat to finalise Head of Racing Ops. you obviously happy with the way it all played out today. Absolutely, Clyde. It was a fantastic day. Once again, thank you very much to Betway. Without Betway and the likes of Betway, it's impossible for us to achieve uh, what we want to achieve in racing. The atmosphere on course today was electric. I cannot wait for the back parade ring to move to the front parade ring or, or move the horses to the front parade ring. I just think it's going to be phenomenal. Um, but we're looking forward to a fantastic season, as I've elaborated on before. And uh, congratulations to uh, Main Defender winning the Spring Challenge. Impressive, eh, Gabriel? Impressive, as well as Feather Boa. They are two horses to follow through the season. And then there was impressive performance from Mrs. Geriatric. Uh, Mrs. Geriatric. She had to pull her guts out, but... All goes well for a, a big season ahead, Clark. Lovely. Bring the same cards out on Charity Mile Day and on Summer Cup Day. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. It'll be bigger and better. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. To Gabriel, thank you, everybody. That takes care of our wrap-up here. Hope you enjoyed it.